Holy reverbs. Uh! Oh, yeah. Oh, mama. All right. So now we're rolling. We're rolling. Yes, we're rolling. Oh, we're rolling, Jimmy. Yes, I'll drag water and spit it. Leave me there. Okay. Hello. Um, this is a another video. It's kind of a filler, but not really. I was meant to make a video about this. Um, a Richie ring, okay, or a just a muffling ring, which has become popular in the past 20, 30 years. Uh, as we know, of course, we, you know I don't have any handy, but we all know when we get those EMAC or those EDAM or those Power Stroke 58s or whatever, you see on the head there's a ring usually about that big, maybe two or three inches, that go around the head that what it does is it muffles the head, right? It's very popular now. Well, back in the day, the heads didn't have that, okay? People used to have to make homemade ones called a Richie ring is what apparently it was called. I call it a muffling ring, but a Richie ring it is. So what I'm going to do here is I have pictures that I took from the web. I had, you know, they're all over the joint um, that I'm going to put up so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, remember Bonham used muffling. Bonham did muffle his drums. Okay, in the amber bisolite, you can see, you know, the 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 um, felt strip at the bottom, as 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 you can see in photographs of his green sparkle and thermal kit on the batter head. But on the rezzo head, he would put, and I think he would attach. I think what they do is they take another bass drum head, same size. And they would cut out about a two or three inch um, edge piece. And I think they would glue that or adhere that to the inside of the head. But I will say there's actually some pictures where it actually looks like on the green sparkle kit, it actually looks like it's on the outside. But anyway, I'm going to put some pictures up now that you can see. Remember, I can't, I don't have the ability now to talk over the photographs that come. So here they come. The thermogloss, okay, and the thermogloss, there's a lot of very obvious pictures where you can see it. And then the green sparkle. And the last but not least, the Amber Vista light, which you can see in certain photographs. You can see it, and it doesn't, it almost looks like, I had originally thought it almost looked like rubber cement that they'd sort of painted around the inside of the Rezo head. But it's probably, again, maybe that's just the adhesive they have on it. Anyway, here it is. And at the end of this video, I will let the, you can see, if you want to look at the pictures longer, I will just let each picture stand there for about 15 seconds so you can sort of look at it. Now, a lot of people have in the past confused that for lighting or shadow. It's clearly not if you look at the pictures. Um, again, Bonham did use muffling um, to a degree. Um, another thing, too, uh, more quality videos on the way, higher quality. I'm thrilled about it. Um, with microphones and Video cameras. I think my dudes actually have three cameras. We can leave one on the bass drum. We can leave one overhead here. We can put one over there. It'll be terrific. So, and but another, I have another malady too. I my hands. I've had a problem in my left arm, my left hand here for a while. I, I'm not. It's not a carpal tunnel, but it's something. But I'm going to a doc about it. And what made me go to a doc about it is in this hand. I was playing softball with some dudes, uh, and I was at second base. And somebody hit, occasionally you'll see a very high pop fly. 
that kind of goes like that. And for whatever reason, I did not have <laughs> my hand up like this. The wind was blowing pretty hard that day. For whatever reason, I had my glove sort of down at my waist. For what I was going to catch it like this. I don't know why. I'm not a good softball player. For whatever reason, of course, the ball then bounced right off, you know, this padding on your hand. Bam! And I remember all the guys like, oh, man, I could hear that out here, you know. And it hurt, you know, but it just felt like, you know, like a sort of an acute hurt. But now that I've noticed and I've been playing the drums for the past month, that it really does hurt. So that, is, um, that has uh, encouraged me to go to the doctor about it. So I'm going to get both these maladies looked at. I'm sure I'll be fine. But i got to get it done. I mean, it's driving me crazy. The doctor did advise me to uh, start beating the bishop with my feet. So we'll see how that goes. So, hope everything is good. More videos on the way. Um, thank you for subscribing, and I really appreciate you enjoying my videos. Thank you.